One of the most important aspects of technical analysis is establishing and identifying price support and resistance. As a first example, let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. When you look back to the beginning of uh, year 2018, you'll see back in February and then again in early April, Goldman Sachs fell down to lows at about $241 and was able to bounce each time off of these two um, levels of support. What that tells you, in essence, is that buyers are willing to pay for the stock at that price. And so long as that 241 support holds, uh, the stock should bounce and should continue moving higher. But if we look to the end of April, you can see that Goldman Sachs actually drops down below that prior 241 support level. On that drop, we moved down to 225. One of the key uh, elements of technical analysis, I would think TA101, is that when you break price support, that then becomes price resistance. And I think that's illustrated pretty nicely here on the Goldman Sachs chart. Look at the reaction high after breaking down below 241 in April. We go down to that 225 level, and we have two attempts to get back through 241, both of them failures. You can see that at these two red arrows. So on both attempts to get back through 241, we fail. Price support becomes price resistance at that level. Taking a look at another example, let's take a look at McDonald's. McDonald's, you have a high established. This is in October. We get up to about the $171 level, fall back to 161, and then we come back up in a couple weeks and we go back above that prior high, which was resistance. And that establishes a new support level. Once we go through 171, notice a few days later we come back down, we hit that 171 level, and then we start to move higher. Now, support can be identified in a couple of different ways and really based on different views. But broken resistance can become a critical price support, as was illustrated here at the end of October. But also, just recent lows can establish price support as well. So in November, you can see McDonald's had fallen back to about 180, did the same thing just about a week later, and then the very next month came back down to 180, 181 again. Three separate occasions all uh, bouncing off of that 180, 181 level. So that established clear support there. Google, now when you look from a long-term perspective, you can have long-term price support. So over the course of the entire year of 2018, you can see that Google came down and tested the 1,000 level multiple occasions, February, multiple times in March and April, and then nearly reaching that level again in November of 2018, each time bouncing. The more times a stock falls down to a key support area and bounces, the stronger that support becomes. Also notice that on bounces, Google was finding some resistance up at about 1190. That occurred in January, it also occurred in June, and each time it did, Google then fell back from that price resistance. That's where sellers line up, and uh, typically we see tops on stocks. The final illustration I have on price support and resistance is with Costco. Costco, as you can see, had a really nice uptrend from April through the first or second week of September, and then each time Costco fell back, it fell back to almost the exact same price level, 217 to 218, and each time bounced back up off of that level. So by reviewing these prior support levels and looking through history, you can establish the key areas of price support where you might want to buy a stock.